everybody, it's Bairavi and welcome back to my channel, Bairavi Space. This is this video is Botswana, Okavango Delta, part 3. So I already uploaded part 1 and part 2, you can watch them on my channel. So in part 3, we'll be covering different animals like zebras, hyenas, eating meat, hyenas, the, um, they're eating meat, and also elephants uh, eating food. And also us um, eating snacks in the middle of the jungle. Well, not really jungle, but um, more like safari. Yeah. Um, well, also we'll be covering um, packs of painted wolves and um, and zebras too, and many more. So come on. So we left early in the morning and you can see all the different safari vehicles are um, parked there and people are getting in, so we did too. And it was cold outside, so we brought hats and we wore them. And also um, our guide, Mr. Rio, he gave us these hot water bags to put our hands on when it got cold, so. Bye bye. Thank you. We left. Bye. I'm so excited because uh, I, because I want to see some lions uh, and I really want to see lions because I never I had never seen a whole pack before and that's what I really want to see. You can see our house over there because um, yeah that's our house we're in camp right now and immediately when we got out like of the camp we could see some wild beasts there and I'm pretty sure you can see it here and there were, there was a whole like um, group of them and they were just walking around there grazing uh, and you can see some of them running there they were so nice they ran like horses. Oh, Here's a beautiful Okavango sunrise, and it was very beautiful. We could see some birds just flying there as the sunrise went on. Um, yeah, and we could see some uh, some red lichwe over there. There's um, they're very tiny. I'm not sure you could see them, but they were there. Um, you can see their horns. Oh yeah. And now you can see some impalas here, and they're walking around and taking a drink from the lake and everything. So. Yeah, it was very cool, and you could see their reflection too. And our guide, Rio, was telling us that um, the baboons had a friendship with the impalas. And even though the baboons ate baby impalas when nobody was looking, uh, they still had a huge friendship with the impalas. So they have a mutual understanding that the um, baboons, they go on trees and they shake um, trees so that the impalas can eat the fruits that were on the trees because they fall. And the um, impalas, because of their good hearing, they alert the baboons of any predators. And you can see the entire family of baboons, the baby baboons, the mama baboons, and the father ones. So now you can see... Um, we were crossing a bridge that was constructed with only natural stuff. There's only wood on that. No metal, no iron, no um, cement or anything because they want to um, they want to keep the beauty of the place and don't want to harm the um, delta. They want to conserve the beauty of the place and conserve the um, environment. And there were a lot of hippos hanging out there, but it's very far. So you can do a little rock things. There's an arrow there, you can see it. Those are the hippos. They look like rocks. Then we saw a wild parrot, so you can hear the noise. Next, we saw a loner zebra, and we were discussing about how it was a male and about optical illusions of zebras. So how a zebra uh, escapes from a predator is that when the zebras are grouped together, um, their stripes create an optical illusion, which makes it hard for the predator to, um, get, to chase one zebra out of the whole group. Now the loner zebra is going and meeting another bachelor friend. And he's just trotting over there like a proud man. <laughs> um, and you can see now he just stopped and stared at us for a while. And we can see why he did that. Because his friend over there is pooping. And he's just waiting for him to do his business before the bar bachelor party can start. <laughs> if, if you look at the head of the elephant, yeah. like on the forehead, yeah. it, females will make a 
sort of like an angled forehead. Now we saw two elephants. So they're both just standing there, and um, you can see their uh, white tusks there. Um, that's very nice. And they're just swinging around their trunks and just standing there. So there was one male and one female, and they were about to charge, so we had to leave quickly um, because my mother got scared, but we weren't really scared um, because they, the elephants were about to charge, and you can't do anything when an elephant is chasing after you. You can see how close we are, and uh, the elephants are wild, so obviously we were a little scared. My mother wanted to, to drive fast and go away, though. So then um, we heard some uh, doo 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 shaking um, from the other side. So we went, so we drove there. And then we found this elephant who was clutching on to this palm tree and shaking it very hard. So the palm nuts would fall off the palm tree and, um, and, and it was eating the palm nuts after shaking it. So you can see the shaking now. So, um, we waited patiently because it was already eating some nuts there. So we wanted to see the shaking and record it. So, uh, we waited patiently there for some time so she could, he could finish eating the nuts. And he was eating it so, um, patiently and he wasted nothing at all before shaking it again. So he ate every single tiny nut that, um, fell from there before, um, shaking it again so he could get more. So... Um, there's really some things that uh, humans should learn from animals. Now you can see the shaking. So. How beautiful. And I was so lucky to see this. Um, and when he shook it, it came like rain. It was, it was, there were so many because he's so strong. So our guide Rio told us that um, he, uh, this uh, elephant was left-handed um, because he clutched it most. He clutched the tree mostly with his left tusk and shook it with his left tusk mostly. Okay, and again we searched for some lions because we wanted very badly to see some lions. Now we can see some wild beasts and zebras there. So um, they're in harmony over there. A family of zebras and also some wild beasts. Suddenly, when we were exploring for lions, on the right side, we saw uh, my mom spotted a, um, hyenas eating a huge chunk of meat. So listen to how they're chomping and, and just sinking their teeth into the meat. After watching Lion King, we all thought that hyenas were were very small, like like it showed in the movie. But they were so huge; they were almost as big as leopards. Like compared to the huge chunk of meat, they're like as big as that. It's like very very big. Oh, there was also a pregnant mom hyena, and she's coming now. And there she is; she's pregnant there. And um, there was a little fight after that. And she's keeping the meat to herself, not allowing anybody to touch the meat, and that's why there was a fight following that. <laughs> so because the small one didn't want to be involved in the fight, he, um, the small one came running to our... Um, vehicle there as you can see and it's it's a little baby and it's curious about our vehicle
<laughs> and you can listen to the hyenas crying and it sounds like laughing. We were very close to them and so I was a little scared um, because we were very close. Suddenly, we saw some painted wolf running there, so immediately after taking some more pictures of the hyenas, we drove there. And now we drove to the painted uh, wolves, or wild dogs, um, that's also called there, and they're sleeping like a dog, like Pepper. And I remarked that it looked kind of like Pepper and slept like them, uh, slept like Pepper and also sat like Pepper too, so. And you can also see the um, puppies over there and it's like a pack uh, of whole um, painted wolves. And our guide Rio was telling us that there are like 20, 10 um, pups and 10 parents too. And uh, Rio was doing some research on the painted wolves. And after that, we found another um, pack of hyenas. So we went to look there too, and then we saw some more hyenas. And then we saw these hyena, this hyena baby, and it was so cute. And it looked curious and bit our tires for some time because it was curious about what it was. And I was so excited because oh, it slept there. And then it, it looked like a puppy and it looked kind of like Pepper. And you can see it. And I would actually mistake it for a dog if it wasn't in the wild. And the poor hyena um, got so scared that it ran away when, when we turned the engine of the vehicle on. It got so scared it ran away because of the growl. And then after that, um, it went and called its like um, older sister so or older brother. I don't know. It called its older sibling. And um, baby hyenas are actually called hyena cubs because they live in, the, in, in a den. So you can see a, the baby one right there. And then you can see the huge one coming out. It's a full grown adult one. And you can see how how much of the size difference you get like like the um baby one is so tiny but the um big one is so large and our guide rio told us that um the older uh, a cub gets the more lighter hair it has and next we saw some buffaloes so um buffaloes are very cruel and they can attack you at any time even if you don't go close to them or like um stay there and even if you don't harm them, they attack you first. So they're very aggressive and cruel, and that's why we had to keep a little distance away from them. We found an elephant skull there. So my mother got down from the vehicle with our guide, Rio, and she just went and wanted to touch it. So there's a whole um, skeletal part of the elephant there. You can see like a rib or something there. And then there's a leg and yeah there were a lot of um elephant parts there and they just died naturally which is good um and yeah and that is the entire um part uh, the head of it the skull And you can see the part where the tusks used to be and its teeth there too. Um, and my mother touched it and I wanted to go touch it, but my mother said maybe there were snakes and she, she was worried for me, so she didn't let me go there. <laughs> and you can see my mother and my father here and they're nicely enjoying the ride. And now we're searching for some lions again.
and our guide was searching for the paw prints of the lion so we could find it so now you can see an anthill over there um that's an anthill i know it was so big i was kind of surprised because of how big it was that's an, that's an anthill and um yeah and i was a bit tired and disappointed because you couldn't find any lions um, you can see the very tall palm trees, though. And then we got out to eat some snacks and drink some um, coffee and juice. So Rio packed everything for us. And it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So um, uh, I was very happy, too, uh, uh, because we got out and we had coffee and juice. And, yeah, because in the middle of the... Um, safari when any animals could come to us yeah. and mr rio is preparing coffee for us because uh, my mother prefers coffee so you can see uh we're just sitting in the um vehicle there but i was a bit scared to get out because um animals could come right so yeah in the distance there was a deer there a, a red lichwe so uh, my mother re recorded that too so you can see now um, my parents are just drinking coffee and yeah so we took some pictures there uh because we we could finally get out but i did in the end get out because it, it was kind of tiring to just sit there forever so we couldn't find any lions we just came back and we had a good lunch there so um now we went back to our room and we were just freshening up there and then i went to the pool because i wanted to swim because i want to at least swim once before going so here and i was a bit scared to jump in because it was shallow um and, and it was very cold too so uh i was i was a bit scared <laughs> I only came in here because I thought a mom would come to me. Oh. Okay. How reliable is this? <laughs> okay. I'm so, when I was swimming, some other people were also swimming. So, guess who it is? It's the Red Lichwe, and they're also swimming in their own um, lake there. So. so, thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe, like, and share this video with all your friends, and ask them to subscribe too. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye. See you in the next one.